Hey there, gang, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, get organized. Time is the coin of your life. It is the only coin you have, and only you can determine how it will be spent. So be careful lest you let other people spend it for you, said Carl Sandburg. Folks, disorganization is a major contributor to stress and one of the reasons that we don't achieve our goals. You can avoid the seesaws of clutter, poor planning, and disarray. Make time to get organized. Set yearly goals, monthly objectives, weekly priorities, and daily tasks. Don't start a new task, a new project, until everything that you need, information, supplies, resources, are available to you. Plan ahead. For most of my life, I took Sunday afternoon from 4 o'clock till 6, sometimes till 7, to plan my upcoming week. Each day was planned out, each hour of that day, and all the resources that I needed were gathered. These two hours allowed me to start my work week focused and not think about what I was going to do. Instead, simply execute with great focus, passion, and power. When you're disorganized, you lose your power. I also look at my schedule the night before every day, and I make sure of any adjustments to it as the day comes to an end. So I'm always focused on being and staying organized. I wake up each day and move forward with the plans that I made the day before versus thinking about what I'm going to do that day. It amazes me how many people do that. Can you imagine a professional athlete showing up on the playing field with some of his gear missing because he was rushing, disorganized, and now when it came time to play, he was all out of sorts? The coach, if he's smart, will bench this person, sit him down, because they're not going to be in the zone. I see this in business a lot. Leaders and salespeople just showing up and not organizing their space. And the result is increased stress and low level performance at best. So clean up your workspace and make sure that only what you need is on it. Remove all other clutter because a cluttered desk usually has a cluttered mind that runs that desk. <laughs> I'm sorry by laughing, but many years ago, my business partner, who was not my business partner at that time, had an office in my building and that desk was so disorganized. I could not believe how bad it was. Piles of paper all over it. I'm sure you've seen this, the mad professor type desk. I would let him know how much better he would perform if he was just more organized and did not have all this clutter. Well, he proceeded to tell me how he knew where everything was. He was actually justifying his habit of being disorganized. I realized I wasn't getting anywhere. So one day at the end of the day, I asked one of my staff members to take everything on his desk and throw it all out. <laughs> well, as you can imagine, he came storming in the next day, was so stressed out and asked, how could I do such a thing? He said, I had so many important papers there in order to do my job. I told him, okay, go figure it out, but keep that desk clean. Long story short, he never had a messy desk or workspace ever again, and later he would thank me. I'm not quite sure how happy he'll be when he sees me broadcasting this to the whole world, but I love my partner because like me, he takes this criticism with a grain of salt and he appreciates it. Keep a calendar also and keep everything that you're going to do in it each day. I have my phone synced in with my computer and my iPad so that wherever I go, I can see all of my appointments, my to-do list, my projects, along with every note from every meeting right at my fingertips. Folks, being organized 
will put you in the zone and you will perform at peak levels, guaranteed. So keep your desk, your home, and everywhere you live, your car clear for action. Put things in their proper place and you will for sure be living your best life ever. Thanks for joining me today, gang. Hope to see you in tomorrow's broadcast. Make it a great day. Bye-bye.